What's up guys? Today we're going to do another quick and easy install on the Subaru and that is going to be my uh, roof rack. Um, it's just an, a Subaru OEM roof rack with uh, the uh, NO fairing. It's a, it's a medium fairing. So um, we'll go ahead and unbox these. Here's the fairing. There it is. Pretty nice. Some of the mounting hardware that I know nothing about. Bolts. And more hardware. So there is that. All right, here's the roof rack. I want to know your dark side. I want to know your secrets. I want to be your lifeline. Wait for you, wait for me. Wait for you, wait for me. Good job. Subaru OEM. Pretty More of these things. All right. Okay guys, so it says to start by pushing this little square piece in from the top, just like that. There's a little bolt in there, screw that out, and that loosens this whole front face, just like that. Now as I'm taking these apart, there's this little circular piece in here that fell off and it just clips down in it. It also came with these rubber feet and on them they say front left, rear left. So let's step out to the car and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, I got the I got the front one here. So grab your two front pads. Just kind of clip up in. Uh, make sure you clean the surface here good because if there's any dirt or rocks or anything under there, it'll scratch it. So wipe that down good. I already did. So, so there is a shorter and a longer rail. The shorter one goes in the back, the longer one goes in the front. 
So we'll grab the back and we'll just go ahead and we'll grab the back and we'll just go ahead and set it up there as well. So you see they're all set. They're all set like that, the base is. The part that goes forward more it goes towards the front of the car. So now you're gonna take your little wing bolt here and all you do is put it down through there and thread it into the rails, the holes in the rail that are already in there. All right, so I just realized I had the wrong ones. I had the rear pad on the front and the front pad on the rear. So uh, they are a little different. So I'm gonna switch those real quick. Left hand rear. Oh. Now thread those in till they're, they're nice and tight. And you want it to be like this, not facing that way. Just tighten up the other side. Pretty tight. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the front. That's a pretty easy install there. Now we'll grab these front caps and throw those back on. And just like that, the rack is installed. These are easy, you just threw back on, tighten that bolt in there and shut that, and they're done. You take it back off, all you gotta do is push that up. Loosen that with your tool. Oops. And there you go. So yeah, that was uh, easy. Make sure it's on there tight. It is. Um, in the ports where you bolt them into, there's two holes on each. And um, I believe I had to use the one that's forward more. It fit better. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Now we're gonna move on to the front wind fairing and try to tackle that, see what it consists of. All right, so here's all the hardware it comes with. That means nothing to me. So let's read the instructions. You gonna place two of these bolts through this metal bracket. There is nuts in these, so be careful. Then take this piece and put it through there. Take your nuts, thread them on. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all three. All right, so these are labeled left, right, then you have a center. So take your other bolts here. Okay, so right now what we're going to do is your roof rails sit in here. So you take this out and put your roof rail through there and tighten them back up. 
Now, these pads here are gonna be resting on your roof itself. So, they provided these little clear sheets that you stick on your roof where that hits to protect your paint. So let's go ahead and throw this on the rails. The bolts that hold these brackets to the fairing, I'm going ahead and tightening them real tight. And then I'm gonna throw it on. All right, so that concludes that. All you gotta do is tighten these up to clamp that down. And then um, it can, here's them little clear, you can see it, the little clear pads that you stick onto your roof so these don't scratch your paint. Then you just hold this down and tighten these knobs all the way across and it uh, holds it down good. So that's it, that's the way it looks. And that's gonna conclude that video. The reason I got that is for these and these and uh, snowboards. So we'll see what how it holds up and uh, I'll continue to update you guys on that. And uh, we're gonna do more, more uh, small installs here soon so keep uh, keep watching and let me know how you like it that was that was a very simple quick easy install but I figured I'd go ahead and show it to you guys just to make it easier on you but it's pretty pretty much common sense nothing hard about that but yeah thanks for watching I'll see you guys later